Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Inventive Tech, a channel dedicated to new ultimate gadgets and innovations. Since 2018, the number of electric aircraft in development worldwide has increased by 50%. Almost 200 electric aviation companies are backed by more than $1 billion from investors. While a good chunk of those companies are targeting the commercial airline industry, urban air mobility is getting more attention. Think ride-hailing flying taxis, electric multi-copters, and passenger drones that can be summoned with an app. In today's video, we're going to talk about seven flying cars that actually fly. So make sure you watch this video to the end. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I guarantee you're going to love what I have in store. Let's get started. Number seven, the Moog Surefly. The electric helicopter Moog Surefly was made on April 30th, 2018 at the Cincinnati Municipal Lunkin Airport in Cincinnati, Ohio. It has eight propellers and a top speed of 75 miles per hour. While it operates on gasoline, a battery pack will provide an extra 10 minutes of flying time if necessary. The initial version can carry about 400 pounds of cargo, although a more heavy duty version capable of carrying up to 650 pounds is currently in development. Both have captured the American military's attention. The Moog Surefly needs to be easy to operate, which is why it's mostly operated by just two controls in the aircraft, a joystick to control direction and a throttle control on the pilot's door. Number 6. The Volocopter 2X The Volocopter 2X is a German two-seat, optionally piloted, multi-rotor electric helicopter. It was designed and produced by Volocopter GmbH and first introduced at the Aero Friedrichshafen Air Show in 2017. The aircraft is made from carbon fiber composites. The controls operate through a mesh polymer fiber optic network fly-by-light system. The controls are a triple redundant primary flight control unit plus a dissimilar backup flight control unit and a joystick control. The stabilization system employs gyroscopes, acceleration sensors, magnetic field measurement sensors, and manometers. The 2X has a service ceiling of 2,000 meters and a hover ceiling of 1,650 meters. It produces an overflight noise level of 65 decibels at 75 meters or 246 feet distance. The aircraft's price has not been announced. Number 5. Airbus Vahana Airbus Vahana is an all-electric, single-seat, tilt-wing vehicle demonstrator that focuses on advancing self-piloted electric vertical takeoff and landing flight. It uses eight electric motors and a tandem tilt-wing configuration that converts between rotor-borne vertical and wing-borne forward flight. This configuration enables Vahana to achieve both vertical takeoff and landing, as well as cross-city flight range on battery power alone. Its cruise speed is 190 kilometers per hour, enabling trip times that are two to four times faster than cars. The vehicle is self-piloted, which is enabled by its onboard detect and avoid systems that can identify both air and ground hazards. Number four, Kitty Hawk. Kitty Hawk is an all-electric hover bike designed to be flown specifically over water. The flyer weighs 250 pounds and sports 10 battery powered propellers and two joysticks. It looks sort of like a bobsled mounted on a couple of pontoons surrounded by a bunch of drone rotors. Kitty Hawk was started by Thrun and Google co-founder Larry Page, and it plans on creating both a personal flying machine that's largely for off-road fun, ultralight vehicles like this can't fly over urban areas by law, and an air taxi for more urban environments. The small drone-like personal flyer holds a lot of promise for those who want a quick and dirty flying car experience, but so far it's only available for test flights at a lakeside training center. Number three, Jaunt Air Mobility. Jaunt Air Mobility is a startup company founded in May of 2018. Jaunt is a single rotor compound helicopter that incorporates a patented rotor system, which enables both VTOL and high-speed flight. The rotor system is capable of reducing the hover RPM to one-third for crews, which significantly reduces noise and drag. The rotor lift and speed are reduced in accordance with speed until approximately 150 knots, where the wing is providing all the lift and the rotor is completely unloaded and free spinning to minimize drag. Uber has already named the company as one of its manufacturing partners for urban air mobility vehicles. Number two, the Audi Pop-Up Next. Audi Pop-Up Next is a conceptual unnamed flying electric vehicle that can move both on the ground and through the air on the joint development of the German automaker Audi AG, the Airbus company, and the company that designs Ital Design Giugiaro. Pop-Up Next was first presented at the Geneva Motor Show in 2018. 
pop-up combines the flexibility of a small two-seater ground vehicle with the freedom and speed of a VTOL air vehicle, thus bridging the automotive and aerospace domains. The core of the product is therefore the intermodality and making it modular. Number one, the Lilium Jet. The Lilium Jet is a pioneering tilt jet aircraft with 36 engines mounted on its flaps. It delivers the best range, speed, noise, and cost, meaning customers can travel in style anywhere, anytime, without having to worry about impact on their pockets or impact on the environment. It has an egg-shaped cabin that's perched on landing gear with a pair of parallel tilt rotor wings. The wings are fitted with a total of 36 electric jet engines that tilt up for vertical takeoff, then shift forward for horizontal flight. There's no tail, rudder, propellers, or gearbox. The cabin can seat five passengers. The company says it remains on track to launch passenger operations in several locations around the world by 2025. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Which one of these flying cars from the list did you like the most? Let us know in the comments, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video.